morning everyone I have a little testimony for give somebody this morning it said quit complaining I won't be long but I want you to understand what is happening in life two days ago I was at the station packing away my pig feed and I get some dog food and when I was packing it a man passed man looked nice I mean, not dirty clothes, not look like he's mentally ill. And he said to me, Miss Mickey, I get that. That's the bag of dog food. The first thing came to my mind was that he wanted it for his dog. So I said, No, you're not getting my dog food. You have dog? And he said, No. And I remember saying to him, You're not getting my dog food, man. Because in my mind, even when he said no, you know, I still think a dog he wanted for. And so, Something said to me, ask him what he want it for. I said, what you want it for? And he came a little closer. And he said, I'm hungry. I said, what? He said, Miss, I want to eat. It was some rice mixed up with some gravy from the kitchen also. People I had $1,000 in my purse. $1,000. No more money, no more, no money. Three days ago. And I said to him, I locked the van door. And I said, come. And I walk over to Portland Jerk Center over Sassafras. When I walk in, I saw a chicken for $500, $650, and $700. I bought him a $600 chicken and a bottle of cran water. I stood in the line and I waited and I bought it. And I went out and I gave it to him quietly. And he looked into my eyes, people. And he said, God bless you. I walk away from him, might never see him again. I've never seen him before. And tears fill my eyes. As I sat in my vehicle, tears rolled down my cheeks when I remember how much days we complained. I had $300 left in my hand. So I remember that a lady had $1,000 for me for some pig foot that I did sell her. So I call her and she arranged me to get the $1,000. But I want to tell you something that was appalling to me. I never normally forgot money in my pocket. So anytime I go to the washing machine, I say money. Me know Sir Antoine money. When I came home, I had some jeans soaking in the machine. And I saw $100 floating on the top of the water. So I take out the $100 and say, wait, how are this? Let me look, I see another $100. So I say something wrong here, some man. And so I started to search my jeans pants, pocket them, to see which one money in her. People, in one of my jeans pants pocket, I found three thousand six hundred dollars. That is three thousand eight hundred and all. The irony of this is that there's a little in this much when God is in it. I not knowing where another dollar was coming from, I bought that gentleman the food from the depth of my heart. But so God provided back three times what I spent or more that time. But more importantly, I want to tell you this morning to quit complaining. <coughs> the persons that we are arguing, <coughs> the things that we are arguing about, God have them already worked out. And so I remember the story of the man and the ripe banana. When he decided that he was going to eat the ripe banana and then kill himself. And he climbed a tree and he ate the banana and threw away the skin. Before committing, committing suicide. And someone came under the tree and took up the banana skin and said, Thank you, Jesus. I have something to eat. And ate the banana skin. This morning, I want to plead to somebody to give God thanks. Quit complaining. I want to ask somebody today, whatever sickness you're going through, whatever poverty, whatever emotional, spiritual, psychological financial difficulties you're having the bible say in everything give god thanks you know i used to complain and i want to tell you in closing that i went to bed one night and i had a dream i dreamt that i was at a convention at a church and i wanted to pass me urine so badly and so i asked somebody where's the bathroom and they said go around here see a seat when i went i saw a, a bathroom with a shower head, no toilet. It was rough cast and it paint kind of creamish color like. 
And I remember rubbing my two legs together, like literally in my sleep, because I wanted to go so badly. And so I said, oh, them send me around and I tell it in there. Who shot me up past me urine? And while I was there in the state of confusion, in my dream, a big Bible came out from under the shower head. And it read in bold, big words. In all thy ways, acknowledge me and I'll direct your path. I've never, ever, from that day, and I used to before, but more so, I've never done anything without acknowledging God Almighty. And there must be a reason why God said, In all thy ways, acknowledge me and I will direct your path. He said, In everything, give God thanks. And so person say, why me I go through so much, you know, I'm to thank God. Thank him because it could be worse. Thank him because somebody is going through something worse than what you're going through. I just want to, I stop by this might to tell you and help somebody along the way. Out of the little, don't wait till I have much to help. Help out of the little. That person that is sick, that person that is hungry, that person that is depressed, help out of the little that you have and watch God bless you. You might not get monetary returns, but you might receive a favor from God. There might be an accident that you're supposed to meet into. Something is supposed to happen and God cut it away from you because of that kind deed that you did to somebody. There's a thing called favor. And so we don't always get back monetary help, but there's a thing called favor. God bless you today. Have yourself a wonderful day. I love you. God loves you. Love each other. You know who, right? It's your girl, Del Rose Green. That's what my mother named me. My friends call me Angel, but I call myself DG Angel. Sergeant Green, Farmer Green, from the cool, cool parish of Portland, saying love, peace, and happiness. My God.